And now you are a award-winning uh, documentary filmmaker. Uh, and your latest, Free Angela. And all political prisoners. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and all political prisoners. Yeah. But we only remember the Angela part. No, I know. Yeah, but you're right, Free Angela and all, and all political prisoners. Y yeah, tell me about the inspiration for taking this project on, because she is an iconic figure. Precisely, she's an iconic figure, and I realized that I didn't really know the person behind the T-shirt that I rocked. And so she's a woman. She has humanity. She makes choices. And when we know our history, oh my goodness, how we can be empowered to change our lives. These people become part of our, part of our legacy. Um, it, it, yeah, part of our legacy. Okay, I think we have just a little bit of a clip of your film. So let's take a look at okay. it. Free Angela and All Political Prisoners. There is a conspiracy in the land. Well, I think she's trying to overthrow our system of government, and she admits that. The actions of the FBI in apprehending Angela Davis, a rather remarkable story. A U.S. District Court judge set bail at $100,000. She knows that the movement to free all political prisoners is growing every day. This entire incident was a deliberate provocation. They wanted to break me. They wanted me to respond. There was enormous feeling for Angela everywhere in the world. We know that she is innocent. We want to tell that Pharaoh in Washington to let Angela Davis go free. What they're doing to her is an exaggerated form of what happens every day to black people in this country. What does it mean to be a criminal in this society? They are not going to kill her. They're not going to imprison her. We're going to free her. We're going to win her freedom. I almost wish we'd had a double box so that our viewers could see Shala watching a clip of her own work. You still get very, very passionate about this. You know, I do, and I love that we follow the lead about the principles, because what our young people don't know is our rich legacy. We, we, have, we are not victims. We are active agents in our own history, and when we know these stories about individuals and how it fits in the larger kind of narrative of American and world history, we will take that on and act accordingly. I, I mean, I believe that it's up to us, the griots, <laughs> to, uh -huh. tell the to tell the stories. To tell exactly. And I know you wanted to tell her story as a human being, not yes. just as this iconic headline grabber of her of her time. Yes. I, and I know you want people to watch the film, but what's yes. something we'd be surprised to learn about her? She's shy. No. <laughs> She's shy. She didn't want this. This was a consequence. Like, the question I asked is, how does a 26-year-old philosophy professor, essentially a nerd, become an international political icon? And what we see are her making decisions to stand up for her political beliefs. She chose to become a communist and the repercussions of that. And, you know, part of the black power movement, arming yourself in self-defense. The guns get involved in a crime where she's not there. And so what does she do? She stands up for her beliefs at each turn, and we get to see her becoming and inspiring an international movement. And this is whether you believe, believe with, agree with her politics or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. As we see Angela Davis evolve, we also see how the country attitudes change as well and I'm wondering um, in terms of how this documentary is being received are you hearing from people who perhaps may have had uh, one vision or impression of her then and have a completely different impression now you know I think she's a divisive figure and so I get two camps I get oh how are you gonna you know put this communist up on a pedestal boring who's interested in that what I was interested in is the, the woman and the other comment I get I've been stopped on the street on the subway in airports, people who've seen the film come up to me and say thank you. Mm. And what I, what I, how I interpret that is you see us and you see me and you see Angela as a whole person, not a victim, not a hat in hand. This mm -hmm. is not the help. This is not, you know, that kind of storytelling. This is about us being active agents in our own past, present, and future. And in that, it is inspiring. There's well, a lot of justice movements to absolutely, be part of still. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on this work. Thank I know you. that you are working on a book yes. uh, about this. Yes. And then perhaps your next uh, subject, Harriet Tubman, yes. we'll keep our eye out for. And you come yes. back and tell us about that. Okay, yes. That. Okay? And the film is out there. It'll be on home entertainment soon. We're in theaters, and you can tug it, T-U-G-G dot com, to your local theater. All right. It was important to get that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had, to, I had to sneak it in. No, no, I don't blame <laughs> you. Charlotte Lynch, thank you for coming on and being a guest host. You were, you were just a delight thank to have you, here. Lady. Please do come back. Uh, at any time. Again. All right. Again, it's free Angela and all political prisoners. Thank you, Shiloh. And you are watching Arise America.